Newton's method for multiple variables. Here we're going to set up deriving the update equation for the Newton's method. And in order to do this, we're going to have to make use of the Hessian. The first thing we do is expand our multiple variable function f of x into a Taylor series. And we're going to write the expansion about the point x sub i. So this x sub i is not the independent variable x sub i because we're not writing a non-bolded italics x. That's a bold italics x. This is a column vector. So that is an actual position. So here's how we write that Taylor series for a multivariable function. And here is that Hessian. So at an extremum, we recognize that the gradient of that multivariable function equals zero. So in order to calculate that, we go up to the above function and we calculate the gradient of this Taylor series. And here's where we end up. And this is where we'll start on the next slide to derive the update equation for Newton's method. So we start with the equation from the previous slide. This is the gradient set equal to zero. So we'll just drop the gradient definition on the left and proceed with this equation. First thing we'll do is we will move the gradient term to the right hand side of the equation. We then pre divide both sides by the Hessian. So really we're taking this Hessian matrix and moving it over to the right hand side of the equation. Now we'll take this x of i term, move it over to the left, and we've solved the equation for x. And so we interpret that last equation as the update equation. This x is our new estimate of the where the extrema is. So we'll interpret that as x sub x, sorry, x sub i plus 1. And so we iterate this equation to find the extremum of a multivariable function. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for watching this video. I love hearing your stories about how these videos helped you. I also love answering your questions. So please tell me your stories and ask your questions in the comment section. I promise I will try to answer every single question that's asked. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I also recommend visiting the official course website that has links to the latest versions of the notes, the latest videos, and there's lots of other resources to help you learn, including implementations in MATLAB. I'll see you in the next video.